Hey, welcome back to another episode on our new series, Pro Tips to Live a Dynamic Lifestyle. If you're new to this show, you definitely want to stay for this because we're dropping them every single day and we're giving you guys tips from literally experts and legit pro tips on how to live a dynamic lifestyle, especially in this pandemic and new circumstances and landscape that we're facing. So if you're interested, make sure to subscribe below. Other than that, get ready for this next one. All right, guys, welcome back to another pro tip series on how to live a dynamic lifestyle through this pandemic. And we have the one and only Jen Esquer with us. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you guys? We're doing well. We were just talking a little bit before we hit the record button and we're all staying a little bit sane. I know you're over in LA, we're in Northern California. And it was funny, we we're just talking about like just going to the beaches and maybe just having to wear a mask. But um, other than that, Jen, I just want to just kick this off and ask, like, how are you doing firstly? I know you said, you know, you have your days where, you know, it's the frustration kicks in. So tell us about that. And then what are some tips that you can give to the listeners that can reinvent themselves during this time? You know, I think it's it's a lot of grace right now and compassion. Like, it's always the thing that I, our culture has been used to is like, what's next? And what are we doing? How are we pushing? And what are we creating? And as great as that can be right now, I think it's always so important to also go back into like, but how am I feeling? Like, am I even taking care of me? Because you might not even realize that not getting touched, not seeing people, not getting that different stimulation throughout your weeks or your days like we used to get, it's going to have an, an effect on our bodies, like physically. And so I think, you know, being able to address like, how am I feeling? How am I tapping in? What do I need to do to really take care of me rather than just forcing and pushing? And that's something that I personally have really had to go with the flow with. Like I am in creation mode in so many ways, but in, at the same time, I'm like, I know when I need to take a step back. Like I know when I'm getting so overwhelmed. I mean, even when, so I got engaged during the quarantine. Oh yeah, congrats, oh, yeah, congrats. Right. right on. <laughs> Super exciting. Um, and even then it was like, okay, now we're going to push and do the podcast release, which we did, but we ended up pushing the podcast back a week because all of a sudden it was like we got engaged and then had zero time to even enjoy it. You know, we were like, okay, we got engaged. Cool. That was a day of celebration. Now we're back in. Now we're like staying up so late. And, and it was like, wait a minute, like this doesn't happen. You know, like what are we doing trying to push to something and drive ourselves crazy rather than actually enjoying what just happened. And yeah. so we ended up pushing the date back on the podcast release and just, giving ourselves time to connect, time to really enjoy the fact that we just got engaged and really have time for ourselves without so much pressure and without so much demand on ourselves, which yeah, we are huge. not ourselves. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. huge. Yeah. And what would you say to like some of those days that you're talking about where you're just kind of like a, a self-care check in and just be like, Hey, like, am I okay? Like, what am I doing? You know, like if you have those days where it's really frustrating or just things get to you. I try to see what have I been neglecting. So one of the main things like Dom and I, um, we do breath work together and it's something that's so grounding. And so if I notice a few days have gone by and we haven't intentionally put time into connecting in that way, it's going to show up. Like I'm either going to get frustrated or I just don't feel good or we're not connecting as much or whatever it may be. And so I know when we start neglecting these little things, it starts to have an effect on our lives and us and me as well. Like I can get stuck, especially now that I don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> I can get stuck <laughs> in PJs in front of a computer working all day long and realize I didn't go outside. I didn't even move. Mm -hmm. Like maybe I got up and did a little home workout to do on a live or something, but that doesn't mean I actually got outside and I got the fresh air and I actually moved my body more than just from around my house. And so it's like, what am I neglecting that I'm not putting in my day? How am I neglecting taking care of myself? Is it drinking enough water? Is it making sure that I'm connecting and calling friends and setting out intentional time to really get those FaceTimes in, do the house parties on the virtual, you know, yeah. how can I, how can I intentionally 
add these things in that I think I've been neglecting. And I am making a conscious effort to really add that in, even write it in my schedule. Um, I will even do FaceTime workouts with friends if I'm feeling like I don't have the motivation to move and I don't like want to work out. I'll be like, hey, what are you doing for a workout? Can we do one together virtually? And we will. And so it's, I think in times where it's like, okay, realize what am I neglecting? Have I even been outside? Can I even just step out? Even if it's cold or rainy, like how can I still put myself out in an environment where I'm getting a little bit of nature, a little bit of sunlight, a little bit of air and removing yourself from this one single place? Like movement is everything. Grounding and being outside is everything and making sure that you're adding in water, that you're adding in nutrients. Like I'm not going to shame anyone for having a glass of wine or getting in some treats but at the same time are you adding in those nutrients that you know are going to support you so that you can stay energized so that you don't fall into these depressive types and know that reach out for support call friends like it's so beneficial to be able to do that yeah Yeah. absolutely and and i really like how you said just schedule it you know to make it a priority and you know it's like i I was i've been telling people if you can't do certain things like this when you know pre-pandemic you know, and now that you have like this extra downtime where it's like, you're not going to run errands, you're not stuck in traffic, you're not going to your job, then, you know, you really have to, what you said to do is just really like check in with yourself and see what's like the priorities with this stuff. So I really like that. Yeah, and, so, and really quick, just to add that, because you said that like, you'll, you'll be just like in that mode, right? We all get in that creative mode where we're just going, going, going. You just like, like five hours goes by and you're like, whoa, I didn't get up. And then you said you do like a live, like, you know, workout, which you're moving and stuff, but it's again, you're still in that, that content creation mode to where you need to just like step out, think a little bit just gather your thoughts and just like do your own thing oh my god yes and i don't think we realize too sometimes like our vision has a control on our stress as well yeah so if i'm always keeping my eyesight on in a narrow screen in a computer in a phone then i'm automatically driving into a more sympathetic stress fight flight freeze mode where if i go and expand my my vision. So make it a more panoramic vision as I'm walking or I'm looking out. I mean, luckily I live on the marina, so I get to look at the water and the ocean. But even if it's just a horizon somewhere, that automatically helps to turn on and tap into that parasympathetic rest, relax, digest state. So if anyone is struggling, like change what your, where your vision is, even, and that could be a slight shift that really makes a big difference. Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And so what would you say, Jen, like just kind of like we're eight weeks into like this, pretty much this pandemic and quarantine, right? And what's maybe like a new skill or like a new habit or a new system, or even maybe just like a blessing that where you're, it just like kind of evolved that you didn't really expect. I think it is the intentionality of really getting outside, like the intentionality of going for a walk, because sometimes it it was more of like, oh, I'm meeting a friend at a gym or I'm meeting a friend and we're going on a walk or we're going on a hike. And, and it was always easy to not have to think about because it was just a part of my week, a part of my days, but now it's the intentionality of what am I doing for myself? Because it's not on, you know, relying on seeing a friend or relying on going walking. It's for myself. It's for my own self-care, getting outside, going on a walk. Um, So that's been really, you know, good for me. And then as well of like creating those little times with my fiance as well of like having our breath work every morning, doing our gratitude every day. And then we do usually like a nightly bath together as well. And that, and just put on like slow music and really just drop in together. So making sure we're having those touch points where we're connecting and it's not just work and it's not just going through every day of like, oh, well, this is the new normal. I'm going to work all day long now that I'm in the home, but still being very intentional to make sure that I'm shutting down, to make sure that I'm taking care of myself and my relationships. Are you a fitness professional looking to create more income, impact, influence, and independence? If so, we actually just dropped our new book, Rise of the Fit Pros, so you guys can be on your way to doing all those things, and you can sit there and build your hyper training model. So if you're interested in getting your copy, make sure to click the book or the link right here, and you guys can grab it. Other than that, make sure to enjoy the rest of the show. Absolutely. It's huge.
And so the next thing I want to talk about too, is just like, let's say, you know, hypothetically, this pandemic completely wiped out your business, right? And what's, what's, what's actually makes this a good question for you too, is because you were actually doing, you know, the actual like work in a physical location, you know, before. So what would you kind of do if like your business got completely wiped out, but you have all the skills and the knowledge and everything, you know, that you know now, what would you do to kind of rebuild that back up? You know, I think it's just continuing to say, okay, if this is how I'm getting information to people, how can I still get information to people in, in providing what might look a little bit different, but could still be equally as valuable. And that's really mm -hmm. what I have done even before the pandemic, right? It was like, okay, I'm working on people in person and I'm seeing the results, but I don't know if what I'm putting on Instagram is necessarily helping anyone. So how can I still bring the tools and the resources to people anywhere in the world if they cannot come and see me? And so that's when I did create these online programs two and a half years ago, you know, and I'm grateful that I have that as a resource now that I can continue to provide people. But I think it's just that creativity of what was the feeling that I was bringing people? What were the tools? What was the education that I was bringing people? And how can I now do that in a different way? And I still have virtual calls with people. So to today, I think it's even more empowering to teach people how to do it for themselves rather than relying on a clinician in person. And so it, it's a great tool for a clinician and for a client because then they get to see, like as a clinician, you get to see how you're really guiding people. What are the cues yeah. you're really using so that a client understands what you're talking about? And then as a client, how are you feeling empowered to say, oh, I can do this on my own. Someone can guide me, but I can still do it on my own. I can relieve my own pain. I can do my own movements. And mm -hmm. so it's such a beautiful time to continue to just adjust and shift and see how how you can still get results by doing it just a little bit different. Absolutely. Yeah, that's awesome. So kind of just shifting gears, like just wrapping this up, Jen. So I've been asking all the guests this question and I'm just really curious. I mean, you know, there's so much uncertainty still going on with all this. We don't know what the big why is behind this pandemic. There's a lot of opinions, but there's no black and white answer. I don't think we're going to get that. So what is your kind of like theory as to why this pandemic hit? You know, was it a message from the universe for uh, society, for humanity? Uh, I'm just curious. You know, I, I try not to get wrapped up into too many different sides or opinions. I try to just say, okay, you know, this is where we're at. How can we shift? How can we still come together as one? Mm -hmm. I think what I saw in the very beginning um, toward me specifically was like, I was getting pushback from people I've never seen pushback from. I was getting, um, I think with uncertainty and with new things comes a lot of fear. And mm -hmm. yep. Yep. under fear is judgment and, and we can start escalating in all these different places. And I was getting a lot of judgment toward me that I'm like, this is so new. And so immediately I went on a live and I just brought on like a friend after a friend after a friend to kind of talk about how we're still into this together. Like we're separate, but how we can still support each other, how we can still come from love, what this means. And I think this is a great time and a great reminder to say we're all connected. Like this is happening worldwide. And although it is horrible for a lot of people and it is sad and how it is still like, okay, in the hardship, how can we come together? How can we support each other? And I'm seeing so many donations. I'm seeing so many giveaways, right? I know I've done it on my business. And, and so it's been an incredible reminder of how we're all one, we're all connected. And if we continue to focus more on love than fear, we continue to combine rather than separate. Yeah, yeah Ooh, absolutely. Well said. You know, I mean, it's like what we've been telling everybody too. It's just like, it's not like you personally did anything or like your business did anything. You know, it's just like, we're all in this together. You know, it's nobody's fault. You know, nobody really saw all this stuff coming, like the aftermath with it, you know? So I really like how you said that. Um, Jen, is there anything we can do to support you on any of the listeners and where can they connect with you? Um, I think you guys do a lot to support. So I appreciate you what you guys do, the work that you put out and the continued just resources that you bring people. I know you bring on amazing guests and you have incredible information and education. So thank you for all you guys are doing. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. Um, uh, people can find me at DocGenFit. Usually on Instagram is the most popular place, but I also am on YouTube. If you like watching longer form content, um, have a podcast, the Optimal Body Podcast for me and my fiance, who's also a doctor of physical therapy. We just 
go through different diagnoses, pain points, symptoms that people feel within the body and hopefully make it easier for you to understand and not feel so afraid of within your body. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's just incredible to continue to do this work, to give to people, to hopefully help to continue educating people into their body, finding the freedom and relieving pain. Amen. Right on. So yeah, before we wrap up, I just want to just, you know, commend you as well too. And just say thank you just for everything that you're doing. I mean, I just see the consistent hustle, the consistent growth. And I know I've told you this in person when we've interviewed you on, interviewed you on our past ones, but it's just really cool to see. So keep it up. I'm really glad that you and your fiance are doing well and congrats again and, you know, continued success going your way. Thank you guys. You're very welcome. Okay guys, until next time. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video and another episode on pro tips on living a dynamic lifestyle. We truly appreciate it. I hope you got a lot of value out of it. If you're interested in getting more value like this from these pro tips, make sure to subscribe above. We're going to be dropping these daily. Also, if you are a fitness professional and you're looking to create more income, impact, influence, and independence, we just dropped our new book, Rise of the Fit Bros, so you guys can do all of that. You can also start building your hyper training model in person and online training. So make sure to click the link or the book right here to grab your guys' copy and we'll send it over to you. Other than that, we're out. Talk to you soon.